Hey, so what's up guys? Welcome back um, for another episode of 24-Bit Podcast. My name is Nick, Nick Kanali. I'm Dixon Atiena. Chenza Emmanuel. Yes, and today guys, I want us to talk about, of course, something that has not gone well with so many of us. As internet users, mm-hmm. well, let me say Safaricom home internet users. Mm-hmm. Because, you know, a couple of weeks ago, Safaricom, you know, uh, reduced some... Introduced. Uh, I mean, yeah, but first they reduced actually the internet prices. You remember? Mm-hmm. Not internet yeah. prices. Mm-hmm. Um, what they announced was the, the reduction speeds. of internet. They, yeah, actually, they, they, they increased Double their speeds. The speeds. The speeds. Mm-hmm. But of course, for us, this was, I mean, we were happy, news, uh, you know, celebrating. But now something else was introduced. What they're calling the fair use things. Is it fair use policy or fair use, fair yes. use and policy? Yeah. And FUP, they, didn't yeah. Intru- they didn't announce it. Yes. They just kept quiet. Wakayaka kwa Yes. Terms and conditions. Well, Dixon did an article. <laughs> <laughs> but let's just start where where mm-hmm. all this debate, you know, uh, starts. Mm-hmm. Do you think this was the right thing for Safaricom to do? Introducing a fair usage with fair use policy. Chance. Do I think? I mean, do you? What do you? What do you think about, about this fair use policy? Uh, I. One, of course, I don't like it. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, but two, operating in the context that the uh, telecommunications company, in this case, Safaricom, is operating it, a fair usage policy, at least from a global perspective, sounds about right. The mm-hmm. key idea being sounds. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. But the reality is, it's not right. Mm-hmm. First of all, um, looking at our volumes, I don't believe. We are at the volumes well, where we need this is usage, yeah, yeah this is such a big deal and mm-hmm. we need the fair usage policy. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to compare it to back when we first had that term um, coming from Safaricom again. <laughs> um, it was what eight and years ago, uh, yeah, regarding the unlimited mobile internet. Back mm-hmm. then, I was at the university and that thing was heaven to us. I used to pay for the weekly unlimited, mm-hmm. and I had a modem plugging uh, it into my HP laptop mm-hmm. and never shut it down, mm-hmm. and I'd get. Everything I needed. Episodes of How I Met Your Mother. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> assignments done. Mm-hmm. Uh, updated the, all the software on my machine. Even doing those updates. Back then, those things were sorry. Today, it seems normal. Back then, those things were sorry. Because mm-hmm. every time you talk about updates, you're talking about several gigabytes. Mm-hmm. And that's all you can afford. So you can't have it being eaten. Then mobile internet at uh, that time allowed us to do all those things. So as a result, some of us were very heavy users, and when you're talking about the mobile subscriber base in the country, it mm. was already large at that time. Yeah, mm. so by joining at that space, so when you work out the math, uh, it looked a lot. So, some of us will be obviously straining other people and everything. When you look at the fixed home data mm. bit, that's not mm. where you are at all. So, at, at this point, at least from where I sit. Mm. It just looks like somebody did the math internally and decided so, they needed to rein in on yeah. these people. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. and that just that's just that. And then for people who have a lot of demanding use mm-hmm. for their home internet, mm-hmm. they end up suffering because of that. Mm-hmm. The casual reason being floated around is their resellers and everything. Yeah. I don't believe those are know. our biggest headache, mm-hmm. and I should worry about resellers. Mm-hmm. Personally, I'm a heavy uh, home internet user, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. I don't sell it to anyone. <laughs> in fact, these. Uh, 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 the measures on my network are such that there is barely anyone who's not me or any of my relatives, and by relatives I mean minors who have devices that they need for entertainment, mm-hmm. whoever connects to my network. Period. Yeah, yeah. not even neighbors. I talk about here, Jiran, my friend, all those. Because I know when you do that, um, the internet experience I have in my house will be compromised and I'm not for that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So when you talk about re- uh, resellers, at least in abstraction, sounds like a big deal when I don't think it's really, mm-hmm. it really is. So that whole bit doesn't sit right with me. Mm-hmm. So while I understand the need for fair usage policies, at this point, for one fiber, I believe it's very premature and it's a lot of self-preservation, if you're being honest. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, and maybe for, for, for listeners, who really don't understand how these FUP work, FUPs work. So what is happening is Safaricom, uh, well, according, so Safaricom Home Fiber packages will now offer specific monthly usage cap on each package. So depending whether it's silver, you know, any other package. Mm-hmm. So when these usage caps are exceeded, your speeds will Safaricom be. will reduce your speeds mm-hmm. to for, the yes, month, for the rest of the month, actually. For the rest of the month. So unless you change your package, there's nothing you can do. So, you can, so when you change your plan option, 
change how do you change your plan option you upgrade in to the another mil- in the mil- nova, or see or? i think if you upgrade your plan option you're still used to your data cap mm-hmm. that's allocated to your account mm-hmm. i think the data cap is allocated to your account not to your bouquet am i right if um, say i was on silver and uh-huh. i've reached okay. my a thousand if uh-huh. i upgrade to a bigger nini have i changed anything i'll still be data capped until the next month because I, the data I, cap is on your account i'm not sure about it because they haven't good question, but i also i also don't know but i don't think it makes yeah. sense to ask people to upgrade when the data caps are the same mm-hmm. whether you're on silver or you're on or i don't know their names mm-hmm. because whether you're on the 10 mbps or the 20 mbps or the 40 mbps or is it now 100 mbps mm-hmm. you still get capped to 3 mbps which makes no sense mm-hmm. yeah so this can only be about telling me or what the, you think you guys think it was not this it was not this the basic explanation for fup is they introduce a way of limiting extra usage of a network so as not to de- so as not to congest the network allowing everybody to access the same resources mm-hmm. when somebody is overusing a resource it gets uh, congested mm-hmm. so other people get to me, need to miss out on the uh, on enjoying the service mm-hmm. so if you peas are necessary so if i comes if you pin your high make sense mm-hmm. because it's not an fup where you're removing people using the network people congesting the network rather it's like buying bundles safaricom wants to sell you a thousand gb for whatever amount you're choosing to pay mm-hmm. and then reduce your speeds for a limited what is 3 mbps if you're paying 20 mbps yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. so what i saw the, the worst part wasn't even that the worst part was that they didn't say it to anyone mm-hmm. they didn't mention it while well, he feature quote terms and conditions mm-hmm. which goes against the simple transparent honest fair whatever <laughs> yeah because you 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 send a press release to us saying oh no at the notice was even said uh, about that there was a release on my email oh, about about uh, about upgrading nini speeds yeah but there are no mention of, of the yeah you email. send an email saying oh we have upgraded uh, we have we have chosen to maintain the double speeds that we started last year during corona studio mm-hmm. but there's no mention of fair usage no mention of data caps you only have to find it in terms and conditions mm-hmm. which they then do not respond to they 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 still don't have a uh, an official response to that how mm-hmm. jongle they said the fair usage policy was necessary to policy was necessary to protect the majority of the customers who use the uh, the they say to they responded to a tweet oh the commercial user <coughs> Okay so I've been running an experiment mm-hmm. activity monitor yangu iko on I don't use my laptop very much but in the past 3 days this is my usage Yeah uh, this I, is a laptop that actually, I only use for so, uh, nini web browsing At least you're uh, being you are actually you are nicer you are kinder <laughs> <laughs> So I, I I actually did the same same test uh, and uh, this is a very nice coincidence Oh yeah I saw mm. your tweet mm. and, No no leave no, leave no, that tweet alone I've mm. actually never shared with uh, the results of that test publicly mm-hmm. and i think i should i am um, there was a time i was i was shopping for a second route uh, route where i would route all my internet, internet traffic to, mm-hmm. and part of the things i was looking at is usage. getting the nice overview like the one the google routers give you mm-hmm. um for your usage mm-hmm. i really wish i had proceeded with that plan mm-hmm. because i abandoned it mm-hmm. but at least some of the devices i use do meter my usage now mm-hmm. when these um and yeah, the caps were announced mm-hmm. and before uh, i learned that i could uh, call these people up and they tell me how much i've consumed i just decided to check at least for the devices where i can find that information let me see where i can find it we now find windows 10 yeah. wi-fi sense allows you to go and see your oh. consumption mm-hmm. per network mm-hmm. so i connected to the usual uh, network i connect to in my house for the use of that uh, windows pc and i went and checked mm-hmm. I done 50 GB in a couple of days mm-hmm. on that Windows laptop. Do you mm-hmm. know how how many times that Windows laptop is used in a typical day, Monday to Friday? The most it's ever used is 4 hours. Mm-hmm. The most it's ever used. And that's already 50 GB. That I've 4 used, hours. Yeah. And <laughs> and and my TV is constantly streaming yes. in 4K mm-hmm. uh, whatever platform. If it's Amazon Prime, mm-hmm. if Netflix, it's uh, Netflix, YouTube. if mm-hmm. it's YouTube, the mm-hmm. only compromise comes when I go to Shamax mm-hmm. uh, which is like rare mm-hmm. yeah so if i come and argue so, so the heavy users mm-hmm. yeah at least uh, i'm not a reseller so <laughs> we are debunking yeah. this reseller myth yeah <laughs> so as uh, so, so from that just like uh, whatever dickson was running from mm-hmm. that calico math 
that gave me a small window mm-hmm. into how much I was yeah, using. So of course, yeah. when I eventually got in touch to ask about my usage, my fears were confirmed. I shared the figures yeah. mm-hmm. publicly. Mm-hmm. And it was a very crazy figure. Even mm-hmm. I myself never thought I was that using much that of much a heavy user. I knew I was a heavy user, probably more than normal, but not, not that much of a heavy user. You, as you can see, for the last three days, that's 20 GB on a laptop that I rarely use. Three days. Three, yeah. Yeah. three out of 30. Yes. Or whatever so number of days. On a laptop <laughs> that I open for just web browsing, writing articles. I don't watch YouTube videos on my laptop. I don't watch yeah. Netflix content on my lap- laptop. I go to the TV for that. Now imagine one hour streaming Netflix is about 7 GB. So if I watch Netflix the whole of my Saturday, how much data have I used already? So... A thousand GB, and in as much as Safaricom wants to argue a lot, is a little, mm-hmm. is nothing. And that shouldn't be the approach for this data capping. The approach should be monitor a network for whoever is yeah. uh, stressing the network, reduce their speeds until they stop stressing the network, then let them go back to using the internet normally. So not everyone. No data caps. <laughs> data caps are, are stupid. I saw Comcast in the US tried data caps. They had to remove them mm-hmm. after customers complained. Because data caps mean you lose the whole idea of unlimited yeah. home internet. Yeah. To, yeah, exactly. yeah, the only reason I pay for home fiber is because it's unlimited mm-hmm. home internet. I'm not paying to get caps at 1000 GB. Cap me, maybe if I'm consuming too much internet for yeah. the day. Mm-hmm. For example, I'm stressing the already shared connection because Safaricom has explained in the terms and condition it's shared one to four. Mm-hmm. And I hope their installers uh, make sure that it's one to four. So if I'm already getting out of 20, 20 mbps i'm already assured that when the all of us in this uh, the shared network are using the network it will fall down to less than uh, 15 actually 15 percent is it 20 percent of what i'm paying for mm-hmm. the network will fall down one to four mm-hmm, yeah mm-hmm. so I'll, I'll already be reduced from 20 mbps to around 5 mbps Cindy. then you tell me if, if i reach a thousand gb you'll also reduce me to 3 mbps which will also be reduced by up to 75 percent when there's a strain on the network what is that it's like non, having no internet yeah network, that's right? that makes no <laughs> sense and i don't get why safaricom will do that because one the fiber network is not congested as chenzo was already pointing out mm. we, we haven't used up any part like the fiber network is not like 4g where you can say it's it's already congested there are mo- many people using it mm. and safaricom is not l- even laying down uh, direct line yeah. fiber connection to your home. They are sharing the connection to you. Mm-hmm. So they've already saved so much cost. I don't see why they're trying to do it right now mm-hmm. where you're now being capped to a thousand GB. Yeah. And Safari is so much worried about resellers, which has been one of the things they're really highlighting, you know, for, for I think that's for brand. Uh, that's, and, yeah. and, and, and I mean let me what is what is so hard about Safari Com just now going after these resellers and just when you're leaving some of us why go after them? resellers? You already get your money. Um here's the other bit. Uh, and, and, and I believe this is the approach they ought to be taking, and this is for their, the guys who handle business div, uh, development across their various divisions and departments to delve into. If you have a market that is being addressed by resellers, mm-hmm. that means you're leaving money on the table, right? Yes. Mm. Yeah. You're, not, you're not targeting your because own, because you because yeah. who is a reseller? It's mm-hmm. me living in a flat. Mm-hmm. I have internet, and my neighbors want internet too. Mm-hmm. Instead of them seeing uh, the termination point down there mm-hmm. and wanting to source their net from mm-hmm. there, mm-hmm. so it's internet sambaza. It's not a new thing. We had internet sambaza in our campus days. I mm-hmm. used to, I used to to, yeah. to yeah, yeah, it. So 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 they they could tap. In, they are leaving money mm-hmm. on the on the table. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they off, yes, they're offering mobile data, but yes, people have children who love all those yeah. cartoon things mm-hmm. on YouTube, mm-hmm. who love whatever new thing is there on Netflix. Mm-hmm. And true to form, these are not people who are even demanding, so they won't even be high capacity users. Mm-hmm. So other than restricting um, us to three or four packages that serve a certain kind of a uh, caliber of a user Uses, mm-hmm. why not Create see new packages, yeah right. see how you can reach this segment because yes. so, 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 so,
which I think this what resellers oh. are making look like. Uh, but but, but it's still it's still it's still not commercial use. It's to people who are using yeah. it at home. It's it's uh, how is it being resold? Apo apo mtani ama i i ama resellers ako CBD. Most of the home fiber resellers only resell it to home users. Yeah, right? yeah, because mm-hmm. because there's fiber Safari to the offered a two Mbps package, a one Mbps package, or that three Mbps package they want to force us on. People will buy. <laughs> <laughs> why, why not target our to when you wanna wanna itaji these smaller packages that are like for watching content at home or just WhatsApp? Most of the resellers sell to people who just use it on t- yeah. very little mm-hmm. WhatsApp, Twitter, Instagram. Mm-hmm. Yeah, a two Mbps package will serve them right. Make it affordable. Then make your engineers ready to on it to install koma nyumba mm-hmm. and stop oh, nini claiming oh we are doing this for resellers. Yeah. I don't get it. Miss no, the, res- the reseller's argument is very moot uh, and, and very lazy. Uh, like, I think it's a stupid <laughs> You can't compare it to the bundles issue. Remember when they yeah. reduced mm. it to 10 Mbps? You can't compare it to that issue because that time, Uli Unke buy at a 10 GB at a very nice price. Mm-hmm. But this one is home internet where the speeds are already limited. It's already a, 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 a platform where you should be getting unlimited data. Mm-hmm. But and, then, and, and then my my main arguments against these data caps are one scalability, two permanency. Mm-hmm. We know when Safaricom walks down a road or any other provider for that matter, in and big or small, including our government, we are not walking back. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's permanent. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's permanent. So like right now, these data caps are here to stay. Yeah, to stay. Uh, so and that means, <laughs> yeah, yeah, and yeah. Make news about it. Yeah. So, so that's the bit about the permanence. Scalability is the nature of how we use the internet, how we use data, is such that we can only use more, never yes. less. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Like, look at yourself today. The apps that you have on your phone, there uh, might wait. be, mm. there might be uh, the same apps that you had ten but years ago, more. but. They're you probably ten times the size they were. Mm-hmm. Look at what the WhatsApp you're using now mm-hmm. and the WhatsApp you're using uh, ten years ago. If you Look are like the, me, uh, your backups, like yeah. my WhatsApp backups are what four GB or something. Look at the data. Uh, not even the. Look at the screens of our phones right now. Kitambo, you will open YouTube and your screen will cap you at four eighty. You have a ten eighty display. You're already demanding more data from yep. YouTube. Yep. Mm-hmm. Uh, by 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 mm-hmm. default, you already loading like your consumption yeah when you buy a brand new phone and you start um not Setting even downloading to, not uh, even downloading mm. just updating the apps that, that are installed from already. google you already use the yes too. you're already using more data than you would previously mm. and that's only going to keep going uh, further as you go along now android has a mechanism where you'll install like uh, the shell of the app if mm. i can use a very pedestrian term to to, to, term, to, de- to mm-hmm. describe that and then later on based on your usage and needs from that particular app it keeps yeah, on no. pulling mm-hmm. additional assets mm-hmm. it needs to run mm-hmm. in the end you will find a single app is almost 400 mb yeah. you'll wonder why mm-hmm. and this is not an app where you are storing things or anything it's just whatever you're doing it's not even a heavy game mm-hmm. but because of the needs uh, our, our our phones are different have different capabilities and the developers who avail these apps take care of all those things and to avoid the apps being uh, larger than 100 uh, megabits they have these uh, assets stored separately and they get fetched mm-hmm. based when on need requested. yeah yeah mm-hmm. those changes have only come up over the last three years and now as a result we have very big apps mm-hmm. uh number one super app is like even facebook it's a huge app yeah. as you keep mm-hmm. using it and not many people are like me and you review new phones so they are constantly moving to yeah. new phones so their footprint is can be very uh, limited somebody will stay with a phone from january to december mm-hmm. and that's yeah. like the worst case scenario people will stay with their phones longer uh, say a minimum of two years mm-hmm. within that time it keeps on accumulating that mm-hmm. is still usage mm-hmm. that still goes into your daily usage your weekly usage mm-hmm. your monthly usage mm-hmm. it's what somebody is metering so look at it this way uh, this that's what you're doing today uh, that's what you'll be doing same time in yeah. February uh, next year and two years from now and three years and four years. And then if you are staying alone, maybe your family will expand. Uh, you'll have a significant other, you'll have kids who need to be entertained mm-hmm. or you'll, ha- you'll be entertaining visitors who come to your house or uh, relatives or whatever. Those needs keep on expanding. expanding. And it's still mm-hmm. from the same single 
home connection that you have that is being metered. So as a result, there needs to be a way to handle it. Mm. Handling it is not capping it. Mm. And if you're going to cap, maybe when you're announcing the caps be publicly or it. very district, uh, discreetly like they did, one, be open about it. Two, yeah. provide a solution. Provide an out mm -hmm. for people who are heavy users. Then what do they do? You know, that's what mm -hmm. has been done elsewhere. Yeah. yeah, we acknowledge you are such a heavy user, but when we envision this product, how you use it is not how we envisioned it. Mm -hmm. So now if you want to continue to use it like that, this is what it you is need to product. do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, give people that option. Yeah. Right now it's I, not there. It's not, yeah. <laughs> Remind me the packages. Let me just open. The highest package. Uh, it should be the one for 40 Mbps that they're going to do to 100, if I'm not wrong. Now tell me, if I'm already living at home, I have decided I'm not paying for 8 Mbps, mm -hmm. I'm not paying for 10 Mbps, I'm not paying for 20 Mbps, I've decided to pay for 100 Mbps. What does that mean about me? Mm -hmm. I need fast internet, mm -hmm. 20 Mbps is already enough to watch YouTube videos in 4K, Netflix in 4K. Why pay 100 Mbps if I know I don't, I'm not requesting a lot of data? Mm -hmm. So why cap me at 1000 GB at the same uh, cap you're capping somebody at 20 Mbps? Mm -hmm. It makes no sense. Mtu mwenye analipia 100 Mbps, hataki kutumia 1000 GB at you. Mm -hmm. eh, yeah. Akona content there's at a, there's a reason. Yeah. Eh. Yeah. So Safaricom is making no sense mm -hmm. requesting people who are paying as much as 11K to be reduced to? 3 Mbps. It, it, it makes no sense. You know, that's the same argument I made uh, back in 2019 mm -hmm. when something strange uh, started happening. Was it? Uh, it started happening when in, late 20, in 2018 uh, and became notorious in 2019. Mm -hmm. And I, I believe um, if it weren't testing for where we are now, mm -hmm. uh, uh, that Product. firing because mm -hmm. we protested, I kept on protesting, mm -hmm. is what uh, led us here. Mm -hmm. They had probably noticed an uptick in, in the bandwidth utilization by some users and they were trying to rein it in and some of us caught it very quickly. Mm -hmm. Where you'd find you start downloading something on your and TV, your internet, uh, your internet. Your internet it goes to be the load and you can't do anything mm -hmm. on your laptop, mm -hmm. on your phone. Mm -hmm. And that was very crazy. At that point, when they started doing that, I used to pay for the gold package. I'd pay 5,200 uh, or something. For 20, yeah, 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 for 20 Mbps every month. Mm -hmm seemed to be a high cost and higher than most people would be willing to pay for internet. I didn't mind because while I was paying that, one, the service was so, uh, so good and mm -hmm. two, I believed I was the kind of user who would exploit that. that. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. because at that point I just got an all 4K everything in uh, at my place mm -hmm. and I wanted to enjoy push it, 4K. Yeah, yeah, to enjoy 4K, mm -hmm. to push it to that limit. So I thought, Sister Shina Niki struggle up at 10 Mbps, mm -hmm. I'll pay for the 20 yeah. mm -hmm. and get to enjoy that. Mm -hmm. And I did for a while until it started running into issues. And upon inquiring, I was told, by, by the way, uh, 20 Mbps is not even enough to stream 4K. Okay. <laughs> okay, but why was I doing that before? Mm -hmm. And then that's where our capping stories uh, started. Mm -hmm. I, I just downgraded my package back to 10 Mbps. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I, sta I stayed there until COVID came. Mm -hmm. And they were and generous they enough to it. double it. Yeah. yeah. So, so knowing that people actually pay a higher amount, mm -hmm. Based, based on their yeah, usage, yeah, they yeah, know. Yeah. So, so you capping them and bundling them bundling all together, them together. Think, that makes make sense. sense. I mean, yeah. I wouldn't pay for a 5 Mbps package if I know I'm, I'm a heavy user. Hey, exactly. And you would exactly. pay for 100 Mbps <laughs> if you know it's a 1000 GB only. Listen to this yeah. argument I think from one of those Twitter conversations. So, like, if Safaricom were to design their home network to support both home and commercial uses, the cost per, per customer will be higher, leading to less affordable internet. What do they mean so, by commercial so usage? Ensure high usage, no high speeds, at an affordable price. A fair usage policy is necessary to protect the majority of the customers who use less than five percent of what the commercial. Uses. I think that's a stupid argument. One, it's fiber. <laughs> <laughs> it's fiber. Yeah. It yeah. travels at the speed of. It's already fiber. You only right. cap the only the only speed limitations are it is network artificial. They do not exist. <laughs> like the idea that you're using five Mbps does not mean it's nini limited. Mm -hmm. it's, yeah. So if they want to give you a thousand Mbps, the in a in a fika one Gbps, I mean, the lo in a twaje ni mesao ko networking. It's I no. 
it's ideal like the speed the fiber can handle ideally is that amount mm-hmm. you're only capped at 5 mvs because that's what you pay for so if they wanted to use this sim- similar connection for a business fiber as long as it was dedicated a business a commercial usage mm-hmm. as long as it's dedicated you'll be able to get that so akuna kitu kama oh if they offered both you're already paying for home fiber it's yeah. already shared hai make sense kusema ati kwa sababu wanajaribu kuoffer home it's not charity yeah. ati kwa sababu wanajaribu kuoffer everyone no, internet I'm paying, for it. <laughs> eh, I'm paying for 10 mbps and i want it to be 10 mbps forever without data cap sati kwa sababu nimefika 1000 gb mm-hmm. now sielewi your statement <laughs> <laughs> your statement in an issue so you need pedestrian argument so yeah. sina words za ku counter nayo sai so i mean but we need to also to realize you know fups i mean zuko has no, them no fups exist data caps are stupid mm-hmm. having an fup doesn't mean having a, a data, data cap unaelewa nini fup means fair usage policy nikitumia a certain amount of nini niki request a certain amount of data from nini as i'm throttling the united states throttling as i am uh English ni ngumu. Wakati ninaumiza mm-hmm. wase wengi users wengine kwa network, mm-hmm. ni reduce ya speed yangu nisiumize wase wengine. Mm-hmm. Eh. So after after ni mem, after umecha ni reduce here, have it reset maybe at midnight when you uh, the way I was suggesting in my tweet. Mm-hmm. Eh. So I, I don't think... have it as a data cap where I'm buying bundles. Mm-hmm. Unaelewa? Have it as a restriction for my usage wakati nimekuwa he, a heavy user mm-hmm. for a period of time. Unaelewa? For example, I'm downloading a so many kona ps na download a very heavy game if my request is going at a speed that is limiting my neighbors mm-hmm. from accessing the network slow me down to 3 mbps yeah. let my download continue then i mean at midnight ama wakati the yeah, network is not heavy reset it to normal that way mm. I, th- i think one of the things why you completely fail here is first communicating this policy it's, they did not want to communicate it they that did not fail on that they purposefully hid it in terms and conditions because they knew it's going to cause this uproar no they <laughs> wanted it to be like oh three months down the line they'll say we have always had it in our terms and conditions yeah. i also think safaricom saw a business opportunity to exploit they are the biggest sellers of home fiber internet uh, so they can control how others will approach the unique uh, because i mean i'm sure now once maybe other another species is this mm-hmm. okay yeah i mean this provider is doing the same why not us having a, a, a fair usage policy is okay having data caps do we are against mm-hmm. and having them at that stupid amount yeah, of maybe you know, a thousand gb is nothing if you send something what about ho- 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 people who live at home mm-hmm. what about youtube content creators if you upload a youtube yeah. video that's already imagine if i were to upload a video every week how much data i'll be using mm-hmm. if one video is about 200 to makes no sense yeah mm-hmm. especially by the the one the one biggest draw to on fiber is the consistently high upload speed yeah. mm-hmm. now if you want to take advantage of those <laughs> which are, yeah, yeah. That, that's why some of us are using that stuff in the first place yeah i saw kuna watu wengine around here called dimensions that time oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah i emailed them because if safaricom is not respecting that creators who live at home have been using their network mm-hmm. for their nini how many people you know on youtube have said they moved from zuku to safaricom because zuku has shitty upload speeds mm-hmm. and safaricom has really good upload speeds now what do they do if you cap them to 3 mbps yes. which is the obviously the download speed the upload speed will be less than one and i think that's why i'm happy for the dimensions that are not coming through mm-hmm. but you know when i sent i shared that tweet and you responded and then They see yeah. them, they see them in Rwaka right they, now. They're in Rwaka, yeah. Expanding, you know, mm-hmm. Polipoli to other areas. And I hope people uh, there was this uh, article by Tom Macau yeah, yeah, yeah. about guy. how nini everyone is open to 5G na nini nini. I hope Safaricom realizes in the future that this was a stupid nini. Eh. Uh, 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 no, it's by the way, I just had the thought process. Mm. Do you know offering the internet uh, with the mentality of data bundles data bundles makes no sense because <laughs> <laughs> i mean this is a thing we see in yeah. Kenya, you know yeah. you my limit is one this is what is at, at the back of your head when you are using your phone you're not even supposed to, to come home and think ah niko karibu kumaliza my 1000 gb makes no <laughs> sense hey you're supposed to come home and watch content the way you like That's what you pay. Oh, yeah, they are chasing after your kids not to spend too much time on Netflix I, I because on Netflix <laughs> and that it makes no sense. Uh, Again, uh, yes, the 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 bad faith comes. This is on the back of similar caps that have been imposed on those who use 
uh, who do not have access to fixed data at home but mm-hmm. use uh, the alternative solution offered by Safari the 4G, home, 4G uh, whatever uh, home packages. Which is also very expensive. <laughs> yeah, mm-hmm. and that one was implemented also very silently. Very silently. And a lot of us actually <laughs> from a very privileged pack we didn't have this conversation mm-hmm. and we didn't pick it up yeah. because we are not we, those we users. A, we so a lot of those users them. have actually been suffering and in silence. They, uh, one, maybe their voices are not loud enough to be heard like mm-hmm. ours were yeah. heard uh, because this is a lot of self-interest. We use mm-hmm. this service mm-hmm. uh, uh, every not, other day. Uh, uh, so when somebody tampers with it, we we'll see it. Noise. That's why we were able to spot, <laughs> uh, mm-hmm. uh, to spot the trends back in 2019. Mm-hmm. And that's and why right somebody now. was able to pick out mm-hmm. the, the updated uh, silent terms uh, mm-hmm. this time around. But the same happened with 4G at home. Yeah. And it's a worrying trend, obviously. Mm-hmm. After that article, you unapata people complaining about 4G at home. I won't know about it because I don't use mm-hmm. it, but apparently the data was reduced, yeah. the speeds were reduced, and now it's just limited. It's not unlimited anymore. It's 400 GB. The first 200 GB is at this speed, the next 200 GB is at this speed. Wow. Makes no sense. The acquisition cost is 16,000, I guess, because the fa- the router is 11,000. Mm-hmm. Your first month is 5,000 if you pay for the higher tier. So you're and, paying. And imagine in this whole conversation mm-hmm. we've had so far, we've mm-hmm. not even um, taken issue at them uh, having a, recon- a reconnection fee. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, because uh, because to me that is something common mm-hmm. elsewhere. Um, mm-hmm. You'd pay for your own router. Mm-hmm. Uh, if you move, you lose it. You'd you still need to pay. To pay. Those and are then, not a, yeah, a big and issue, people yeah. usually have connection fees. Th- those are not big issues. They are things that are almost industry standard, yeah, and yeah. we've expected. Mm. And for a newer service, uh, we only knew that for some time Which we are going to foot the cost on, of yeah. acquisition. Mm. Mm. But later on. To need to be dispensed with. That's fine. Yeah. Uh, what's not fine though? Limiting. Yeah. <laughs> limiting. Limit limiting the internet. Yeah. 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 Because because um, uh, a company choosing to foot the cost of customer acquisition. That's just marketing. So it, that can't last forever. Yeah. Plus it's a choice. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. You know, mm. Uber gave us vouchers. Those vouchers aren't meant to last long. Yeah. <laughs> Some are not working. Ah <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Your story, CG. <laughs> You're giving a voucher because you are a trip in Asia. You're trying to use it. It's not working. Ha- happened. Ha- ha- <laughs> happened to me once, and I protested the person who he gave it to me. Before we close, mm-hmm. my final issue with this data cup is that. Uh, in as much as it doesn't make sense, Safaricom is also not offering a way for you. I only learned you can call them through Twitter yeah. to know how much you've used. And I don't know how I can trust them to tell me via a phone call you've used 900 GB yeah. if there's no application. One, yeah. to see that. Two, what does it mean for my uh, for my privacy if someone else yeah, is able to, uh, keep, yeah. keeps monitoring what I'm doing and seeing how much data I've consumed? Unaileo? Yeah, so Safaricom is introducing something that is very unclear. One, how do I see how much I've used? No, one, zero, why does it exist? I don't want it there. Mm-hmm. One, how do I see how much I've used? Two, who monitors my network and what can they see? Mm-hmm. Three, what does it mean for the future? If right now you want to limit me to 1,000 GB, mm-hmm. a year down the line, how, what will I be doing with the internet? Mm-hmm. Why should I pay for your internet for 1,000 GB if... There can be better providers who don't offer such data caps. And five, don't limit my usage. <laughs> Stop <laughs> limiting my usage. So your, yeah. your argument, uh, while now it works in favor of the other arguments you've made in this discussion, mm-hmm. was used somewhere else uh, on the Kicktonet uh, mm-hmm. uh, listing thread mm-hmm. as being pro whatever the telcos are doing mm-hmm. because one one of the biggest arguments one that i've also fronted is mm-hmm. if there are a few bad apples mm-hmm. why don't you pluck them out yeah. mm-hmm. somebody made the same exact argument oh we'd we'll be accused of policing users we'll have to look at what you're doing mm-hmm. blah blah blah, blah. <laughs> and then oh. no, no, not only uh, is that uh, strong it's also very complex <laughs> <laughs> I, I i read uh, those arguments uh, and i got tired closed my laptop and went to sleep because that's the same <laughs> thing so so you said it. <laughs> yeah the only solution is to remove data cups and to just make sure whenever a network is congested because you can see yeah. the same way when my network is down i'll call them they can know that some network is congested mm-hmm. and reduce. Yeah, mm-hmm. hey, don't put data caps because taki kujia nyumbani alafu na sema asiyezi watch the Netflix kwa sababu data yangu itaisha. Makes no sense. Yeah. 
Like, so if you listen to this podcast, tell us what do you think about this cup. So, first, for us, actually, think that I know you all hate it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I know, yeah everyone, we, everyone we, we including the people arguing for it on yeah. online, they hate it. Hey, how can I just say that there's anyone who is like, oh, me, me. no. Mm. Uh, and here's the bitter truth, though. Um, much as we don't like it, we might have to make peace. That yeah. this is what we have to do. Yeah, to stay. Uh, yeah. Make peace. <laughs> <laughs> no, change your provider. <laughs> yeah, I swear. If I get you know, you know, a new the thing, the thing, offers, the, uh, the, the thing why we have to make peace, and mm-hmm. this is what they know, and they are introducing such things is one. We are still many years away from having the kind of options that options we need. That we need Even yeah. on normal, regular mobile service, mm, where, yeah, this, still where these telcos are, are known for, mm. we do not have the kind of competition uh, and options yeah. that we need. So much that you are better off sticking with the devil, you know, than whatever heaven is promised. Mm-hmm. Also. They know this, and that's why they have you by the balls, so to say. Me, I'm but, actually yeah. annoyed because I pay for my safari on fiber in advance. Mm-hmm. Like my account on Fiber has a lot of money and I pay in advance because I yeah. trust mm-hmm. and rely on on Fiber Safarico. So making me feel like, uh, Sasa, you are going to be capping me out of nowhere and in secret makes no sense. Yeah. Oh, I think that's it. I think if anyone anyone has a problem listening to this, just know the idea of cap is just a bad idea. <laughs> yeah. I've overpaid. <laughs> it's a bad idea. I've overpaid an, an amount enough to take me for four months. For four months. So tell me. Why would I stick with them if they didn't even send an SMS? Oh, we will be capping your data to thousand GB. Yeah. yeah. If somebody comes to my building and offers better internet, no I'll more. take them. Yeah, because Safaricom does not appreciate that I'm missing. <laughs> well, as you say, is if it's anyone Safaricom listening to this podcast, please just know it's a bad idea. Yeah. I think we all both have articles around these uh, these cups on our blogs. Mm-hmm. So yes, thank you so much for listening. My name is Nixon Kanani. I blog at Tech Trends K K E. I'm Dixon Otieno, techish.com. Chenzi Manuel, and Rukenya.com. Yes, until next time.